Hey guys, my name's Rach. I'm the director here at TNC Graphics and today I'm going to teach you how to install your new TNC kit. Alrighty, so first up we're going to inspect your plastics. If they're scratched or scuffed by any means, it may be worth replacing them and we can definitely arrange that for you. There's five tools that you need to install your kit. So that's the isopropyl alcohol, microfiber cloth, TNC squeegee, a really sharp Stanley knife and the heat gun. Preparation is key. We're going to give the plastics a wipe down with the isopropyl alcohol. No matter whether the plastics are brand new or old, you always give them a wipe down. Quick tip, you always got to make sure that your fingers are clean before you install. If you have any dirt or grime on your fingers, it can interfere with the adhesive on the graphic. Alright, so I've got my plastics here. I'm just going to put the graphics over the top to make sure it's the perfect fit. So I'm really happy with the fitment. I'm going to peel the backing paper back about 20% and make a start. So I've sat that over loosely. Just going to seal that little bit down with my thumb. Make sure that everything else looks good, which it does. So now I'm going to seal that down. Just that center piece. Happy with that? I'm going to then remove the rest of the backing paper. And this is the most crucial part. Always go from the center outwards. So it is really important to use your thumb for the center. That way it goes over any curved edges. And then you can grab your TNC squeegee and work your way outwards. If you do get a little bit funny with it, you can always peel the backing paper back. It won't lose the adhesive and keep working your way down. Then I just do one final Roll over with the squeegee over all the areas. Make sure that all the areas are sealed down and happy days. If this is your first time installing a kit and you do happen to have just that tiny little bit of overhang, this is where the Stanley knife comes in. Please don't freak out. You can just give it a tiny bit of a trim because it is really important that our graphics sit on top of the plastics. They don't have any overhang like this. If you do happen to leave that overhang and you go out to the track, you can get a little bit of dirt behind that. It's gonna to continue to lift, so yeah, it's definitely best to trim it. I've just snapped a new blade on my Stanley knife and I'm gonna make sure that I apply just the right amount of pressure that I go through the sticker, but don't touch the plastics. Moving on to another piece of the bike. First of all, I'm gonna give it a really good wipe down with the isopropyl alcohol and my microfiber cloth. Making sure that I go right over the edges as well. So I've got my graphic. I'm just gonna sit it over the top of the plastic to make sure that it has perfect fitment, which it does. Always start from one hole. So I'm gonna peel that backing paper back about that. That way I can stick this end down and I can also maneuver the graphic around the plastic. Okay, so I'm happy with that, but I feel like there is some improvement. So don't freak out. If you pick that off really quick, you're ready to go again. I'm just sealing down just that corner. I'm really happy with that. So I do have another little handy tip for you that I'm gonna show. I do have a little texture here. This is gonna help me later down the track. So if I look at that, really happy with that. Oh, it might need to go up or down a little bit. So I'm happy with that there. I'm going to grab my texture and just make a slight mark on the sticker and the graphics. That way, when I peel the whole backing paper back, I know exactly where that part needs to line up. 
So from here, I'm gonna remove all of the backing. Then I'm gonna pull the sticker taut and line it up with the mark that I made earlier. So now I know, even though this looks a little bit wild, I know that it is gonna be in the perfect position. And I'm gonna use my thumb to go straight through the center all the way to the other side. I've got my TNC squeegee and I'm gonna work my way from the center outwards, ensuring that there's no bubbles. So now that we've come to these parts that curve in a little bit, I'm definitely gonna use my thumb. Your finger can curve over those areas much better than what the squeegee could. You can also apply a little bit of heat here if needed. I'm gonna just apply a little bit of heat, um, enough that I can heat up the graphics without burning my finger when I rub it over the plastic. It's definitely best to also use less heat than too much heat. And using my thumb, I just wrap it around the edges like so. just apply a little bit of heat just around those other areas to help seal it down. All right, now let's go over to the other side using that squeegee, working my way across. It is also really important that you work your way across and out rather than all from one end going to the other end. Then you can do just one final inspect. I am going to wipe off that little mark with the isopropyl alcohol. Just tidy that up like so. And then I just give the rest of the graphics just a little bit of a wipe over to make sure that there's no fingerprint marks on there. So a quick tip, if you install the whole graphics and then notice that there's a bubble in the center, it's probably best that you don't rip off your graphics now that they've been stuck down. Instead, get a really sharp Stanley knife or a pin and prick it really good. Um, and then I actually get the heat, so I'll prick it, apply a tiny bit of heat and it will usually evaporate. If it doesn't evaporate, evaporate. Um, wait for the graphics to cool back down and then just grab your little TNC squeegee and just work with it. If you happen to get like a bubble close to the edge there, then you can pull the graphics back up and push it back down, um, but yeah. You wanna make sure that you install your kit at least a couple of days before your first ride. It's not ideal to put them, whack them on and then go riding within 10 minutes because the graphics don't really have a, a decent amount of time to adhere to the plastics. I preferably would like to install them say on a Tuesday, maybe let them sit out in the sun for like 10 minutes um, and then just let them sit on the plastics or put them back on your bike um, for a couple of days before, before your first ride. Um, and keep an eye on them as well. So if there's anything that does happen to be lifting at all in there, don't freak out. Just grab your heat gun and seal it back down with your thumb. Moving on to the front guard, I'm gonna give it a really good wipe over. It, another really good point is the graphics are a little bit easier if you had the plastics on your bike. Uh, it's just not gonna, the plastics aren't gonna maneuver around when you're holding them and that. So if you can put them on the bike, it's gonna make for heaps easier installation. But because we don't have that today, I'm gonna show you how to do it if they weren't on the bike. So I'm now gonna pull the backing paper off just for the tip, like so. make sure that the rest is straight. 
little bit of overhang there. So I'm actually gonna bring the graphic a bit further forward, peel that up and go again. Looks much better. So now I'm gonna seal down that whole top area. And come back, flip that over. You can sometimes also rip that off, fold that over. work our way down. And center that, work our way from the center outwards. Knowing that the backing paper is still on, that way it's not losing the adhesive or flapping around like that. Just gonna grab the TNC squeegee for some certain bits. Just push into those center part. All right. So now I'm gonna continue to take off all of the backing paper. sit it gently on top then I'm going to get my thumb actually run straight through that top section and work my way down For that area there, I'm just going to peel this sticker back a little bit. I'm going to grab a little bit of heat. Grab the squeegee. Literally push it out. And I'm going to, because there's a curved area here, I'm going to use my thumb over that area. to the next side. It's always good to make sure that both sides are even as well. Running my finger over that top edge. bit of heat. Using my thumb over that curved area. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm just going to give it once wipe over, make sure that none of the edges are overhanging at all. And then just keep an eye on it for the next couple of days. But super happy with it. The template is really accurate and I can't wait to get out on the track. Now that we're done, there is a couple of don'ts that we should mention. So don't use any other cleaning agent other than isopropyl alcohol. I have so many mates that come up and they're like, I use brake cleaner, I use methylated spirits, I use paint thinners. And I'm like, guys, you need to stick to the isopropyl alcohol. Next up, I have a lot of people come to me and they're like, Rach, do I use the soapy water to install my kit? 
soapy water is, it kind of helps your plastics slide around the, sorry, helps your graphics slide around the plastics, um, which for our material, we do not recommend that. Our material is actually air release. So if you do get that bubble, you should be able to push it towards the edge or you can just peel it back up and go again. Don't use soapy water for our product. I had one of my athletes come to me the other day and she said, Rach, your squeegee literally saved my thumb. So if you want to get your hands on one, just jump on our online store. Another important one is some people come up to me and they're like, Rach, I watched 30 different YouTube videos last night um, from this company and from that company on how to install my kit. But the only video you need to watch is this one here. And if you have any questions, then just call us, call me or my team, we'd be happy to answer them. The reason being is every different company has different methods to install their, their graphics. So it's really important, like I don't want you to watch a video from someone else that says use the soapy water H, that's, that's not what we want to do. So if you have any questions, just call us up. So you've got your new graphics on the plastics, you've put them on the bike and then you've noticed one thing and that's the seat cover. You don't want like a data seat cover with your brand new graphics. So let us arrange a new one. We can do a fully customised seat cover that blends in with your new kit. And finally, if you get your TNC kit and you're just that little bit too nervous, don't freak out. We can definitely install your kit. It has to be booked in and it is subject to availability. Um, and there is a small fee to install the kit. But lastly, I just cannot wait to see your graphics on the bike. We love seeing you at the track and in action. Be sure to tag us on your socials and thanks so much for repping TNC.